Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft for Power Rangers the Movie, featuring Ivan News for Super Nintendo. Speaking of Ivan News, we're gonna meet him right now. No, seriously, we're actually meeting him right now, and we're going to jump him just like we did in the movie. This is the only reference, only one of the few references to the movie. And, as you're going to see, he actually puts up quite a fight. Alright. Sine wave patterns. Oh, when you hit him three times in a row like that, you can basically get him in a little holding pattern. He's got other attacks. I'm pretty, you may see him, you may not. If not, I'll probably mention them at the video, at the end of the video. But I seem to be doing pretty well so far. Oh. Good lord! Oh, there it goes. There's another one! You backflip from that one, you stay away from the knife throws! And wow, that was better than any, any of my dozen or so practice runs! Get a hundred thousand points for beating them, so I basically just got myself two lives. And now that we kill Ivan News, we just set off the little self-destruct sequence, and now well, we have to get out of here. And it's not gonna be automatic. We have to get all the way to the other end of the stage. We got turrets. And so much for that. I wanted the perfect run of that, but can always get you once. Walls take six hints to destroy. Let this uh, let this raise up a little bit before we actually jump up to the next platform. Got a little laser can right here. Let's hit this guy first. Ah, I waited too long. By the time that just right, I wouldn't have been able to get on there. out on that little platform perfectly so much for a bar so a no for a no hit run on this round oh nearly avoided that And now to take care of all these putties. Ow. And we have just enough time to spare. I want to stand right here because in the final seconds, well, you're going to see what happens. Yeah, you basically can run into the hands of the Ninja Megazord, which strangely appears in this game. Even though you don't get to play as him. It's whatever. And we've done it.
And well, Bulk and Skull appear in the ending as well. And that's pretty much it for this game. Oh boy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. It's a little more difficult than the original Power Rangers game for Super NES. More arcade-like than anything else, and... Well, with that comes quite a lot of differences, such as the... Having so few hits before you die, and... Whenever on one of your lives, and the very the much more simplified gameplay, you just have the one punch. That's it. You don't have like a standing four hit combo to from just from mashing the attack button over again. This one's a little more old school hardcore. Try hard more and you get a secret code. Well, the secret code actually gives you, I think, nine continues. It's on GameFAQs, so it's not that hard to find out. Well, <sighs> this is the end of it, so until then, I'll try to find another game to LP. This is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe. Also, would like to thank Evil AJ2010 for doing a play playthrough of this game that led me to doing one of my own. That playthrough has since been deleted, but he's actually done a one-shot LP where he goes through the game in one sitting. I actually kind of like the old playthrough better because he didn't die during the whole thing. But what can you do? Anyway, till then, this is Prince Watercrest, take care, stay safe, and see you guys later.